Okay, now we're uh, going to read uh, news uh, from an Asian perspective. Uh, I'll read five items, yes. and then after uh, very quick uh, summaries of these items, uh, you choose what you want to react to. Now, number one, of course, uh, Okinawa protests, fresh drunk driving case of U.S. base worker, uh, and um, Okinawa Vice Governor Mitsuo Aheda filed a protest Monday to Lieutenant General Lawrence Nicholson, commanding general of the 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force and Marine Forces in Japan, stationed in Okinawa. This follows, of course, the uh, huge out outrage last month, or rather two months ago, May, you know, April, May actually, uh, where uh, a Marine veteran was arrested in connection with the death of a woman in Okinawa, uh, which... Uh, uh, we've seen uh, huge protests, up to 50,000 uh, uh, big uh, rallies uh, against this uh, yeah. uh, American basis. Second item, and this is very re relevant now with the in impending announcement of the arbitration uh, panel's uh, uh, judgments, uh, uh, Beijing hopes Manila will meet it halfway. Uh, this is a very cl clear signal. This, is, this comes from the China Daily, which is an official... Uh, uh, the paper of, of the uh, Chinese uh, establishment. Uh, but at the same time, in the Philippine press, we see this from um, uh, the report by Patricia Lourdes Birai, Philippine Star. Philippines urged to issue stronger statements as tribunal ruling nears. And this uh, urging comes from the British ambassador. Is that appropriate? I'll ask you later uh, about this. Uh, uh, the third uh, item is actually from the China Radio International reporting on the Ampang LRT in Malaysia. It is now operational uh, and uh, several uh, commercial houses of uh, China was involved in the financing and the construction of this uh, train. Uh, this is significant uh, in, from the West. Uh, France wants sanctions on Russia lifted soon. Uh, this is according to the foreign minister of, um, of France. Uh, quote, sanctions is not a goal in itself and of itself, says Jean-Marc Ayrelro in Paris. Uh, this, of course, is significant. It also signifies a, a change in uh, European Union uh, uh, stringency yeah. uh, uh, with regards to Russia and maybe also a certain degree of... Um, of uh, wriggling away from uh, the American uh, policy. Um, and finally, um, of course, um, uh, Hong Kong celebrates the uh, reunification. Uh, they had their anniversary uh, uh, last uh, July 2nd. Uh, uh, and if you recall, the turnover of Hong Kong from the British, from British rule back to China, which I attended in 1997. But uh, which one of these uh, items do you think uh, you want to comment on or analyze? Well, uh, th th these are very complex uh, situations. Uh, for example, that uh, the European Union was uh, organized in order to contain Russia. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I think now with the Brexit that uh, they would like to, again, uh, they want to, to get Russia to fill the void mm -hmm. that was left by by the British, so just goes to show you that uh, the world is round. Yeah, in fact, uh, you're going to London again, I think, yes. soon, uh, no? and yes. uh, you, you must have uh, insights into this Brexit uh, yes. imbroglio now. Yes. Uh, what are your impressions as a... a, a, a well, uh, the, yeah. the UK can survive, mm -hmm. for sure, and uh, UK has a lot of uh, uh, trade relations with this part of the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, if uh, they will be uh, blocked off from the single market in Europe, they can always find solace in a bigger market in yeah. China. Yeah. And but uh, earlier in our discussion while we were preparing for uh, yes. the, the show, uh, you were mentioning that uh, London may be in a better position now to uh, take advantage of uh, trade relations and financial relations with China. Uh, which is in competition with the European Union? Is yeah, this? well, there are a lot of uh, uh, rules, you mm -hmm. know, that they have to abide with. By if they're with the EU. With the EU. Yeah. Now they're uh, freer to, uh, to, to, to liberalize uh, relationships with other regions in the world. 
including China. So in that sense, uh, uh, they might be uh, uh, not, I wouldn't say better off, but you always have to have all the markets in the world, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. and not just one market or the other. Mm -hmm. But uh, certainly, uh, the most I can say is that uh, the, the, they can uh, uh, b probably solidify the relationship with China now mm -hmm. that they are freer from the... Yeah, you were saying that uh, you think uh, uh, Britain can export more to China than to the European Union because they're losing the, yes. uh, the, the, the single market of the Euro yeah, European there, Union. There's a synergy there because mm. uh, China needs a lot of uh, technology, yeah. which uh, the Brits have are, are, are plenty of. Mm. You uh, were with the Rolls-Royce Advisory? Uh, uh, I was with the Rolls-Royce Advisory Group mm. and then uh, when we went to China uh, to sell them uh, engines, mm -hmm. uh, they um, they they decided that uh, they will buy the engines, but that they would want to have their own airplanes in the mm -hmm. future. And that uh, the Rolls Royce should help them and put this together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think uh, Rolls Royce did. And today you have this uh, uh, new passenger uh, plane, passenger yeah, planes, uh, plane regional planes yeah, of, of China plane. now, yeah. which is the result production. of that uh, relationship so with uh, uh, probably with the other airlines also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the kind of synergy that can happen mm -hmm. uh, between uh, the UK and China. Of course, we know that UK was in China and centuries ago, mm. you know, with um, Hong Kong and... Yeah. Uh, well, it's amazing how uh, Britain and China, with the bitter uh, past experiences, <laughs> yes, uh, uh, the diplomacy allows them to keep uh, working with each other. Yes, the boxer wars and the opium wars and yeah. all that sort of thing. You know, the takeover of Hong Kong uh, yeah. and, and so on. No? Uh, uh, which just shows that sometimes the, the economics is more important than the politics. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, well, uh, taking off from that last line, uh, what is happening with uh, Philippine-China relations? Uh, uh, it seems that um, uh, China is uh, at this time uh, really extending a hand of uh, reconciliation by offering a halfway uh, meeting of the two. I, I think you know the Chinese system. It's it's very clear. Their press expresses what their government uh, yes. would like to convey. Is that correct? Yes, but uh, before getting there, mm. I think uh, it's important uh, to look at this relationship. In a, in a bigger perspective, from the historical perspective, mm -hmm. see that the relationship between the two countries has has um, actually been uh, quite good mm -hmm. in the sense, and uh, negotiations with these countries has brought about uh, 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 good things. Uh, people forget that diplomacy is very important. Mm -hmm. Would they say, "Well, you can't talk to China because of that"? No. No, our negotiations with China has been very fruitful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when uh, Marcos, uh, specific, specifically Mrs. Marcos, yes. went to visit Mao Zedong, Mao Zedong was able to disengage China from the uh, Communist Party mm -hmm. of the Philippines, mm -hmm. and that brought peace. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least uh, not completely, but uh, it dismantled yeah. the uh, arsenal. Yeah. Of, uh, of NPA, which was uh, being fed by China. I, I don't know if you uh, were into this at that time, but uh, I, I remember that uh, when the uh, MNLF uh, insurgency started, the OPEC countries uh, supported that insurgency and uh, threatened and I think cut off oil to some uh, extent. Yes. And uh, part of the uh, Beijing diplomacy of Manila at that time uh, at, uh, achieve or uh, manage to uh, get, get uh, oil supply from China. Uh, I don't know if you recall that. Yes, uh, well, well, China has uh, been mm. there in the Yolanda, China. Um, yeah, the, uh, the uh, brought in, uh, you know, that uh, mm. uh, the warship, uh, not warship, this, the uh, hospital the, the, the ship. Yes, hospital ship, <laughs> hospital ship, yeah, uh, yeah. and all that. Despite uh, the pro the uh, their misgivings about the arbitration case. Yes. yes. So it, it's a, I mean, if you look at the timetable in the history of both countries, you'll find that uh, it's been pretty steady. Mm -hmm. right? and, uh, and there was only um, a gap uh, when uh, you know, Obama had his uh, pivot uh, to Asia, and then Chinese the got paranoid. They grabbed some islands, but that's why a crisis situation uh, appeared. 
but uh, the problem was that that crisis situation was not <coughs> properly, properly managed, mm -hmm. I think, in hindsight. And, um, uh, that, that could have been and then settled to a certain extent by, by bilateral talk, which uh, the Deng Xiaoping formula had always insisted on. Yes, uh, the two yes. countries talk. And that was the situation up to about uh, the time of the past administration, which opted to, to forego the, the offer China to, to sit down. And, uh, uh, yeah, uh, assuming that China had uh, some, 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 uh, some uh, bitter pills to mm -hmm. put on the table. But then, you know, in negotiation, uh, they always start with the, 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 their best foot forward. Then yes. you sit down, you negotiate. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, the, as they did in the case of the NPAs, mm -hmm. uh, when yes. uh, Mao Zedong uh, uh, disengaged from the NPAs. That's, That's right. what negotiation is all about. So I don't know why people are insisting that we don't sit down and negotiate. Mm -hmm. Well, um, as a diplomat, I, I would just wondered uh, uh, what um, uh, y your reaction to the UK ambassador's uh, comments urging the Philippines to uh, make stronger statements as the tribunal uh, ruling nears. Is this uh, uh, proper? Is this uh, standard? Is this, uh I don't think any, it's politically correct uh, for mm -hmm. uh, any diplomat to, to comment on uh, mm -hmm. strictly uh, uh, policy issues involving the host country. I think, uh, I think that's not par for the course. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems that they uh, are quite uh, in a habit to, to comment on our uh, foreign policy, these uh, Western powers. Uh, or countries. Uh, yeah, because we allow it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We allow it. Okay, I uh, wanted to uh, ask about this halfway. When China says, expresses, uh, to meet halfway, what are th they prepared to put on the table? What do you think? Of what? course, we're speculating uh, this Pre point. Precisely. We will never know unless we sit down with them. We talk about it. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. they talk about multilateralism. I mean, mm. uh, we uh, think they, instead of bilateral, multilateral talk. But who are these? multilateralists. Mm, mm. The, Malaysia has made a deal with China. Vietnam has made a deal with China. That's the reason why at the last meeting of ASEAN and China, we did not get support of the ASEAN on this thing because uh, it's the national interest. That's thing. right. Yeah. Only, only Filipinos can appreciate their national interest and forward their national interest. No one else will be interested yeah. in our national interest. Yeah. So it's the national interest of China and the national interest of the Philippines, that should be discussed. That's right. That's not, why it's not, bilateral. It's that's the why it's bilateral. Of the two countries. Na, we don't do, talk about yes. other people's national interests, that's although right. we appreciate yes. what their national mm. interests are, mm. but we have nothing to do with that. Mm. Our main concern is the national interest of this country, and that's what we should protect yeah. at all costs. And cost. it is only on this uh, program of ours, Journeys, Chronicles of Our Asian Century, that items like the Joint Fisheries and Joint Patrol between China and Vietnam is reported to the Filipino audience and to the international audience because, you know, while we are filing cases and we have no talking with China, Vietnam is arranging joint uh, patrols. Isipin natin yan. Think about that, right? Uh, oh. Vietnam has engaged China in many ways, party to party, people to people, army to army, uh, all mm -hmm. that sort of thing. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and then, uh, and so, so has uh, the other ASEAN countries. That's right, uh, actually. Yeah. And in fact, the biggest uh, uh, naval military exercise, RIMPAC, mm. the Americans invited China to participate. Yeah. So what are we doing not talking to China? Okay. Uh, Some people have, have, have said, uh, have advocated two approaches. One is uh, let us engage in some uh, boat bumping exercises mm -hmm, in the West Middle Sea. And, with a provocative action which is not going to come up with a win-win situation. Then another group talks about tampuhan. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. uh, we will not, we will ignore them, mm -hmm. they, like the, like the housewife yeah. who, who does not want to talk to the husband mm -hmm. to settle domestic problem. I mean, these are two absurd okay. uh, uh, options. You know. Yeah. Well, we our next segment we'll have a lot of time to discuss the details of this question. So, uh, hang on, and we're just taking this break. Thank you.